But though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, I have not love, I have become a sounding brass, or as tinkling cymbals. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I can remove mountains, and have no charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and give my body to be burned, and have no love, it profit me nothing. For love suffereth long, it's kind, charity, and envieth not, Love wanteth not itself, it's not puffed up. It doth not behave itself unseemly, it seeketh not her own, it is not easily provoked, it thinketh no evil, it rejoiceth not in iniquity, it rejoiceth in the truth. For it beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, and endureth in all things. Love never faileth. <coughs> Whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. And there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and prophesy in part. When that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. As when I was a child, I spake as a child, and I understood as a child, and I thought as a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things. But now we see through as a mirror, darkly, but then face to face. And now I know in part, that I know, even as I also, that I am. But now abideth faith, hope, charity, and love. For these four, but the greatest of these is love.
set on it. Whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. Saw no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And other book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged after those things which were written in the books. According to their works, the sea gave up. The sea gave up the dead which were in it. The dead. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. We will judge every man according to their works. And the death and hell will cast into the lake of fire. For this is the second death. And what was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. <coughs> Out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. They dwell within there, and they shall be his people. God himself shall be with them, and they shall be his God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor the sorrow, nor crying, nor shall be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. He said unto me, He set them on the throne, to behold, I make all things new. The rights for these words are faithful and true. And it is done, I am Alpha, and the Omega, and the beginning of the end, welcome unto heaven. <laughs> and to him that is the first the fountain of the water of life freely, he that overcometh shall inherit all things. I be his God, and shall be my son. But the fearful, unbelieving, and abominable, murderers, whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their power from the lake which burn up the fire of his which is the second, the second death. He came unto me one of the seven angels who have seven vials full of the last plagues. Talk to the second heaven. So did the bride and his wife. He carried me away in the spirit to great high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, sending out to heaven from God, and in the glory of God, for her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like unto a jasper stone, but it was crystal. I had a wall, great, and high, and twelve gates. The gates of twelve angels, and names were written on them, the twelve names of the twelve tribes of children of Israel. From the east of three gates, and north three gates, and south three gates, and west three gates, and all the city of twelve foundations, and then the names of the apostles of the land.